Alrighty, so today we've got a uh, 1983 Buick Riviera convertible. It's for you to consider. I have it for sale at approvedautosca.com. I have it for the low price of $8,500. It is not a perfect car. I had one of these a few months ago and it was very, very mint. Um, this one, still very nice. It's not without its cosmetic issues, and uh, but you can see I drove it to the house today. It's really a nice driver, tons of potential. I go back and forth about what to do with this thing because these cars, they strike me. I mean, they just like, when I look at them, it's no matter what kind of a boss you are, if you're a lady boss, boss of the boardroom, if you're headed to the 2022 Players Club Ball, I mean, any type of player, any type of top-notch person can drive this thing and be well represented. In 1983, they made about 1,750 of these. They were very expensive to produce. They were, um, I guess, they were around $24,000 at that time, which doesn't sound like a lot of money by today's standards but back then that was money it was actually ten thousand dollars more to get a uh, convertible because um, buick would send those out and then have an outside company to do that so that's why they're not super common they sold them for a few years they didn't sell well because of the cost point so I'm just going to show you this interior I bought that first one and sold it to a really cool guy. I see it all the time. When I go to the cruise nights, I, I love that he, he waves, he honks, says what's up. And then I bought this one, and I was hoping it would be in similar condition. But the guy I bought it from down in San Diego, he was a turd. He was very dishonest, and I didn't go on the run to get it. So I asked him, hey, does it have any rust issues? And, you know, it does. And he could have told me that but he didn't so guy in san diego you're a turd and for me that's lesson one million and nine but on the upside this thing runs really good um i mean it's it's all there and i've had it for months and i just haven't done anything with it i finally just was like you know what i'm gonna sell my other car that i've been driving i'm gonna drive this thing put it for sale fall back in love with this model because like where in the world did they get this idea? It just, it's beautiful. That is a beautiful car. Also love that it has a special place in time. I mean, this was meant for someone who was probably some sort of an executive. Like if you look right here in the center console, there is a huge storage container, which I have some of my stuff in there right now. Glasses and headphones. That's meant for your cell phone. Big old bag phone would have fit there. So it's a very elegant car. I see the interior's not in bad shape. You know, got a couple tears right there, but I mean, that's to be expected. Let me know what you think. I've got this thing on approvedautosca.com at $8,500, which uh, I believe is a steal. I just saw one go and bring a trailer for. I stopped watching, but it was around eleven thousand dollars, and uh, it was nicer than this one. But then I had my last one; it went for somewhere in the neighborhood of fifteen grand, and it didn't take me very long at all to sell it. So uh, hit us up if this is your cup of tea, and um, we'd be more than happy to try to make you an owner.